Good morning to everyone. Welcome to this uh, Wednesday morning's drive. If you're just joining us for the first time, thanks for joining us. My name is Neil. As you can hear behind me, a lot of Egyptian geese calling. I'm just sitting at Wild Dog Dam, enjoying the sunrise. It's uh, started off as a beautiful morning. The sun's just peering through the clouds. So hopefully we're going to get a good day in here. Our plan this morning is to start off and head past Main Dam. And then I'm going to continue heading further south into the reserve. The south's been good to us lately and we haven't been down there for a while. So uh, let's see what we can get down there. Fingers crossed, maybe a sighting of a leopard or the wild dogs or even a different pride of lions. There's a pride of lions down there which we haven't been able to show you yet. They're a little bit shy, but uh, hopefully soon we get them on camera. Thank you for all your amazing feedback and interaction about the Tinswala males. Hopefully that's going to be a coalition we can show you long into the future. Well, it's quite a long drive uh, down into the south, so let's get going. And uh, let's see what we can get this morning. Lovely to see more wildebeest calves. See this one's just starting to suckle with mom. It's amazing the different color they're born. They're born a very light brown color. That's to help them with camouflage. But also born very long legs. And that's sort of just to level themselves out with their mother's stomach. So in so that sometimes predators might not spot them behind the mother so the legs will pretty much reach the belly of the mother and that might be able to hide them and the predator might not be able to see them from a long way off a very frantic drive. I've just got down to the Sabi Sands border here. Guys from the Sabi Sands let me know about this pack of wild dogs moving towards this dam and they've just managed to chase an impala into the water here. You can see a vehicle there from the Sabi Sands. This poor impala must be getting so tired 
been swimming in the dam here now for over five minutes. And if it doesn't get a good gap in the shore where the dogs are waiting, it'll probably drown in the dam. There's no crocs in this dam from what I can remember. Just what used to be the odd hippo. And the problem is the dam is quite deep. So there's no place for this impala to just stand and wait it out and hope that the dogs lose patience. Calling for help, calling for backup here.
Guys, what utter, utter chaos. That was one of the most incredible sightings I've seen in a long, long time. The hyenas have managed to take most of the carcass off. And the dogs are pretty much happy with what they fed on this morning. They ate quite a lot of meat. They ate very quickly. So they're not too fussed about uh, chasing after those hyenas. Those hyenas will just rip that carcass to pieces and consume so much of it now in such a short space of time. Yeah, that was just incredible. The interaction between hyenas and wild dogs is always something that's quite legendary. But yeah, just to see that whole sighting unfold in front of us from that impala in the dam. See the hyenas coming, see the wild dogs pulling it out the water. The hyenas arriving, just an absolutely incredible sighting. One I won't forget for a very long time. Heard a male buffalo here at a small pan in the south called Lily Pond. Just uh, cooling off. It's very, very steamy here this morning, very warm.
So as always, I've come to SA Dam when I'm down in the south to end off, but uh, unfortunately no elephants down here. But yeah, what an incredible morning and uh, what can you say about that sighting? Just uh, lots of adrenaline, pure excitement, obviously emotion, but uh, absolute chaos between the wild dogs and the hyenas. And, and what an incredible sighting. To have my favorite animal in that sighting like that, um, it's definitely something I won't forget for a long time. And I, I say it will definitely go down as my favorite sighting of the year and uh, of our virtual safaris. So my Christmas gift definitely came two days early. I'm going to be with guests for the next while. Um, so I'm not sure when I'll see you again, but Alistair will be out. And if I don't see you before then, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks again uh, throughout the year for everyone's support, interaction and questions. It's been great to have you along with us. And uh, we definitely look forward to, to doing this again most of next year. So I look forward to seeing you then, whenever that may be. Um, and take care until, uh, until that time. Thank you.